of Chen at uh, Sunnybrook Hospital and others in an attempt to rehabilitate the, uh, the ability to enjoy listening to music in people who have cochlear implants, particularly adults uh, who are, you know, who, who became profoundly deaf uh, later, uh, you know, as a later in childhood or uh, adulthood. And uh, what we found is that <clears throat> People, the, the devices are great for people who want to hear speaking, but they're not great for people who want to hear music. And so I approached it like a brain injury and, and saying, if we start at the very foundation of how children process sound in, in melodic patterns, basically babies are very good at hearing differences in pitch contours. So if you speak in a baby talk, you're enunciating more, and that's, that's on purpose. They learn it by differentiating pitch contours. And the more we contour the pitch, the more they key into the differences. And so I'm starting with these people in pitch contours and differentiating contour from contour. And our early results now, we're in our first big pilot, are showing that in fact people are re regaining the ability to hear patterns and enjoy music. Uh, and if we presented more simple stuff, they can in fact start enjoying music. Jennifer was a student uh, in the master's program at the Faculty of Music and suffered uh, an injury that stopped her from being able to play flute at the highly sophisticated level that you need to as a, as a performer.